Hello guys, back to you for another episode. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about these new debit spreads that I've been uh, saying that I was going to tell you about. Well, yesterday was Fed Day and as you know in the past, I didn't play on Fed Days. But with these new debit spreads that I'm doing, Fed Day is a perfect uh, time to play it. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys more about how I'm using these debit spreads. But uh, right now, I'm just going to tell you about my day yesterday. So, yesterday, like I said, uh, with a credit spread, you want these, the, uh, the stock to stay inside of your strike prices. With a debit spread, you want the price to move towards your strike prices. And even go past it if possible. Well, so yesterday about 12.45, which is about 15 minutes before uh, Chairman Jerome Powell speak, okay, uh, I put on this debit spread for 55 cents on the top and 55 cents on the bottom, okay, and which, is a, which ended up being a dollar ten. Guys, I watched this thing go all the way down to about 30 cents, okay? And then at 2 o'clock, I just stopped watching because my Spanish class starts at 2 o'clock. Okay, let me tell you this first. I put it on for $1.10, and then I set me a GTC to get out of this thing for $4. I was hoping for a really big pop, okay? I sit there and watched it for about an hour as the... Uh, Chairman Powell, they came out and announced that he was going to raise interest rates by 25 basis points. And I listened to all the analysts talking and all of that. And then finally at 1.30 or so, he came out and he started talking. And I watched this, this spread go down to 30 cents, okay? Slowly just ease his way down to 30 cents. But then as he started talking, the price started coming back up, okay? So what I did was, now that it didn't get my $4, I lowered my GTC to $2, okay? Because I said, you know, it's not, I started to say $220, but I just said $2, that's an even number. And, uh, and sure enough, at two o'clock, I stopped watching it. I think it got back up to a dollar around about that time. But I just stopped watching it. But here the thing is, when it got down to like 30 cents, I saw it get back up to 40 cents, and I started to just uh, get out of the trade and take my money. But I said, no, nah, Robert, you put this trade on, it was going to be either a win or a loss. You wasn't going to get out early. You were going to let it ride and let it see if it can produce you some money. So I lowered the GTC down to $2, and then at 2 o'clock, I started my Spanish class, okay, and... Uh, I saw I get back up to about a dollar before I started the Spanish class. I started my Spanish class about two o'clock. And the reason why I scheduled it for two o'clock is because usually I'm done trading at two o'clock. Or if I'm not done, I got a trade on that I pretty much know is going to win. So I just let it ride on out to expiration and, uh, you know, don't pay to close it. But in this case, I set my GTC at two dollars. And sure enough, about 15 minutes before the market closed, I hear my computer go, bing, right? And it filled my order. And guys, this seems so funny. I only had played one of these, okay? Which means I was only playing for $100, $110, you know? And it hit $2, which means I only made, like, after commissions, $86, $86 okay? Because 86 times uh, 100 is 86 dollars, but it seemed like I was so happy for that one little trade. Because to be honest with you, I was thinking it wasn't gonna win after it went all the way down to 30 cents. Okay, but but he, the the president chairman started talking, and they started liking what he was saying, and the market started going up and started going up and started going up. And I had, I had it the uh, 4160s, okay? And I think the market got up to a high of 
eight and some change, almost 49, which is about $11 and some change away from 4160. So that makes sense that it got up to $2. Okay, it probably got higher than that. It just filled my order at $2. Again, I didn't see it because I stopped watching, but it was nice to make a profit on that debit trade. So I've been experimenting with these things since December, and I've come up with the ways that I use this, these debits. Uh, I use them as a way to test and see what the weather is like. When I say the weather, I mean what the market is like. And I also use them when I think the market is gonna move big. And on Fed Day, this is what my belief was. If he raises by a half a point, I, I was believing that the market was gonna fall really big. And if he raised it by a quarter of a point, I was believing that the market was gonna really go up. Well, the market started falling when he raised by a quarter of a point, but then when he came out and talk, started talking, the market started really shooting up. So one of the ways to really play this debit spread is when you have a catalyst, when you have something that you know is gonna make this market move. Because really guys, we are so far out of the money on these things until you can't really win unless this market moves big, okay? And if you look at the deltas, we're playing somewhere between the uh, five and the 10 delta, which really means we have somewhere between a, a five and 10% chance of this thing closing above that number, above that strike price. But remember, it don't have to close above that strike price if it moves in that direction fast enough for you to, and you have your price set and you get out, you can get out at a profit. And that's what happened to me yesterday. I was able to get out at a profit with a debit spread. Cause really guys, I thought I was just throwing that $110 in the trash, okay? But it sure was nice to find out, not only did I not lose it, I actually made another 86 bucks, which is about, you know, 80, 70 something percent return, something like that, okay? That was awesome. I mean, that was awesome. And then the trip part about it is it went up to that 40, 41, 48 or something like that and some change. And then it came all the way back down to close at 41, 19 and some change. That's a 30 something point drop. And I think it happened in like 15 minutes because I think my thing filled at about a quarter to three. And keep in mind, we're talking central time, uh, Dallas. The market closed at three o'clock in Dallas, uh, central time. So I'm in Mexico, but I'm from Dallas. So that's why I said that. But anyway, the debit spread is a go on the uh, planet as a catalyst, okay? Because we know that the market moves big most of the time when the Fed is talking. Now, here the good thing is we should have been playing these when he was raising the interest rate by 75 basis point because now the Fed is starting to come to an end of his cycle. Just the fact that he raised by 25 basis points lets you know that he's getting close to the end of him raising interest rates. We may get another two, may get another one more uh, quarter of a point uh, interest rate hike, but I think he's really getting close to the end. In fact, I know he's getting close to the end. I don't know how much longer, but I do know he's getting close to the end because he can't, he can't raise forever. You know, it has to stop at some point. So, uh, Anyway, guys, I'm here to report to you that the debit spread with a expected move, whatever you think that expected move could be, and I know for me, the Fed Day is definitely a day when you can expect the market to move really big. Uh, I played this thing 15 minutes before he came out and spoke, but what if I would have waited till he spoke and then got in on this thing at 20 cents? And then it went up to... Uh, two dollars now that would have been a real killer but that's okay i'm happy for what it did uh one thing i found out is the way to be consistent is not by making big home runs the way to be consistent is by getting base hits uh little you know small returns but just keep doing it consistently so anyway guys the, the reason why you can play this and take the chance on it is because i call it a poor man's debit spread because you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to do it. And because the odds are not really in your favor of it winning. But you can put the odds in your favor when you know 
what's going to happen. And pretty much we know that when the Fed talks, the market moves. Don't know if it's going to move enough, but it does move. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to tell you about that. And I got some more stuff I want to tell you about this debit spread because it's really awesome. It's a game changer. But until the next time, guys, peace out, and I'll see you on the other side.